Burns Odesso 6-in-1 USB hub uh, docking station. Does not seem to want to work with my devices. I have a Microsoft Surface Go 2 and I have an HP Pavilion gaming laptop and this is the second one that I've ordered because I thought the first one was defective um, but it seems that uh, in both cases it does not want to work with the devices and I can show you what I mean. The first thing that I noticed um, when I went to go and plug this into my Microsoft Surface Go you get a notification sound, which is typical. Um, however, it keeps making that notification sound over and over again. You can see that the little light comes on, um, so it is powered, um, but it will keep reconnecting and uh, disconnecting. And even if I go to my uh, little menu here, if you notice, there's like, it notices that there's a there's a hardware device there. Um, and as it makes the notification sound, that will disappear and reappear occasionally. Although it doesn't seem to be doing it now, I can show you on the HP. Well, here is the other one, same model. I have that upside down. And I'm going to plug that this into my USB port, USB-C port. And if I turn up the volume, you can hear that it is making a distinct notification. And you'll notice that this keeps coming on and disappearing. If I go ahead and remove this, now it's not doing it. One more time. And I did try to use another adapter, try to plug it into all my other USB ports, and it would do the same exact thing. Uh, I tried getting some help from the HP virtual assistant, but uh, nothing was working. See, there it goes again as I have it plugged in. I'm going to unplug it. And it goes away. Now, the other thing specifically I purchased this for um, was so that I could hook up my Microsoft Surface Go to right into the television. Oh, see, there it goes again. And this is brand new. I don't have a, a, a an issue with any other devices, and I I can uh, show that to you as well. What I can show you is that I have a USB C cable to an HDMI, which plugs directly into the television. So if I plug this in, okay, it's recognized that there's something plugged in there. If I follow this, and actually if I put this on the right, um, the correct input. Do the correct. And put, I just got a notification to recognize that something has been detected, and voila! I have my display, which means the port is working with an HDMI cable running to um, the USB-C out, right? So that works.
and I can switch this off because it's connected to a PlayStation and I can plug whatever other um, thing in there. But I can switch this, this is off. This takes a second to kick in. Oh, let me try unplugging it and replugging it. Maybe that'll. It's probably because I turned it. Turn it off. All right, plug it back in. It detects. There it goes. Okay, so that is just to show that that port does work. However, it does not work with this device. That's plugged in, it's recognizing that it's there. Of course, it's switching on and off. And if I take my HDMI to HDMI, that is plugged in. This is a rather long cable. This one goes to the number two slot. Oh, because I took it out. That would help if I put that back in. Okay. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just plug directly into the TV. So I have the one end of this cable runs all the way to there. I'm going directly into this input. Number two, I haven't switched that off. I get a notification sound coming from there. And normally this takes a second, but you'll see that it does not Recognize the signal that's coming from here to go into the TV. I'll even give it 20 more seconds. Another notification noise. And by now it should have, the signal should have come up already. Now one thing I have attempted to do was to update the USB drivers um, in the device manager, but to no avail. Um, trying to do the, um, the update um, for the root hub uh, wasn't working. Okay, from left stuff. Devices up. Oh, rear hub. USB. Next. Installing the driver. Um, I did that for the generic USB hub, I did it for this, and did it for this. Uh, all of these drivers were updated, but nothing seemed to fix the problem. I did it on the HP Pavilion as well. And one thing that I did notice when I um, first was trying to use this, and this was, um, this was a few weeks ago, is that every time I'd get the notification beep, um, this generic super speed USB and generic USB hub, um, this would keep disappearing and then reappearing as, um, as I guess I was trying to uh, detect. And if I open up, I can get to events. 
I uh, looks like it says device configured, device configured. Um, on the HP, it says that device has uh, there was like a migration uh, notification that said um, device was not uh, migrated. Um, the thing is that you know even well some stuff. If I take an Xbox controller. And I can plug it into I'm just putting the phone down for a sec so I can plug this in. Okay. I have an Xbox controller is now plugged in. You can see that it reads. Um so the thing is, is that it, it, this item seems um you know only half uh, half function uh, it does read a device it did read an external hard drive when it was plugged in it kept making the notification sound um, and I was able to pull uh, files from the external drive but the beeping kept happening over and over and over again I even tried to turn off notification sounds if uh, USB devices weren't working correctly, that didn't help either. And just to show you that this is, you know, if I use the controller, you can see that um, it is useful uh, per capacity. Uh, however, that's not what I purchased this for. I needed it to be fully functional. Um, so yeah, this is responding to to the controller. I can use that, um, but I, I didn't need it for for that. Um, I have USB adapters that I can plug in to use a controller. It's um, kind of needed it to be full serving uh, as a multi-port device, not just for this because I do have a 2.0 USB adapter uh, port that suffices but that port does not have the memory drives or the memory slots for the for memory cards nor does it have the HDMI. I also want to note that I do have Windows 11. I did do an update on both of these devices um, and there were, um, I had an email back and forth from a representative from Odessa who said that they did test this on um, Windows 11 and that it was compatible and should be uh, just a plug and play. Uh, however, that was not the case. And here is that email uh, declaring that um, it does work. Uh, thank you for contacting us. Our hub is plug and play. Only uses the standard Microsoft driver. Tested it on Windows 11 and it worked. We also haven't received any complaints regarding Windows 11. Well, there's a first time for everything. So we will be sending both of these Adesso devices back. Same, same exact uh, product, same model type. I have the boxes for them. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look elsewhere for a docking port that works with my devices. These did not. These Adesso 6-in-1 didn't work.